Hey everyone, this is Speedy Fighter here. Hope everyone's doing good today. Now here I have a video on Gears of War 4, the beta. And this video is going to be my review and my thoughts on the beta. And what I think of Gears of War 4 so far. Now, the gameplay, just a quick note. The gameplay starts off with Team Deathmatch. And then it moves on to the second game mode, which is called Dodgeball. So I kind of wanted to show both the game modes. There are two game modes. And there's also a co-op mode, which I did not get a chance to play, unfortunately. I didn't get as much time with the beta as I wanted to. But I definitely got enough to get an idea of how Gears of War 4's multiplayer is going to be and the gameplay mechanics itself. So, also another quick note is, I might sound a little weird. I definitely have uh, some allergies now. It's kind of the time of year where the allergies come in. Anyone with allergies probably understands. It's that time of, of the year, that, that season, where allergies hits you hard. So if I do sound a little weird... That's a little bit why, because I feel a little bit stuffed up right now. But yeah, so let's get back into the video. So Gears of War. Yeah, Gears of War is a third person shooter, cover based shooter I guess you could say. It revolves a lot around cover. And it was pretty revolutionary in my opinion at the time. When it first came out, when Gears of War 1 came out it was pretty revolutionary. At least when it came to the cover mechanic. I also, there's also other things about it that just made it really interesting. Like the graphics were insane, especially for its time, it was amazing. Also the gore, just it just hit home in an awesome way. Gave you that kind of like shooter, Mortal Kombat-esque kind of like hybrid when it came to like the design, just due to the gore, at least that's how I saw it. And yeah, so Gears of War 4, it, from the beta at least, seems to kind of go back to the roots. Now I, I'm a big Gears of War fan, I loved Gears of War 1. I loved Gears of War 2 as well, though the multiplayer definitely was a big glitch fest, so which was a little disappointing. But Gears of War 2 had a great single player, and it still had that classic Gears of War feel. And then Gears of War 3, which in all honesty, I, other than the nostalgia of Gears of War 1, I think Gears of War 3 is the overall best Gears of War. Reason, one of the main reasons I say that is because of Horde Mode. Horde Mode was just so much fun. Like, I like Zombies in Call of Duty, but Horde Mode to me was way, way better than Call of Duty Zombies. The fact that you can uh, build fortifications, the different kinds of enemies, and especially the boss battles, just blew my mind. I just loved it at the time. I couldn't get enough of Gears of War 3 when it first came out. And the graphics were insane, the gameplay was nice and smooth, the online ran perfect, and it was just a lot of fun. And it just had that replay value also, which was just is missing in a lot of multiplayer games nowadays. So I loved Gears of War 3, but then, then the dreaded Gears of War Judgment comes out and just shits all over Gears of War's multiplayer for me. Like I think they were trying to give it a more of a like a Call of Duty-esque feel in some ways. They took away the Locust on the like, if there wasn't a COG versus Locust, it was just COG blue team versus Locust red, or the other COG red team. So which, which just took away some of the, you know, that nostalgic Gears of War feel. And the gameplay just, to me, felt just horrible. There's just so much about it. I just, I hated Gears of War Judgment multiplayer. The single player was not bad. I mean, you know, Barrett, I love Barrett, so it was nice seeing, like, his storyline. And the single player kind of stuck to the roots a little more, but the multiplayer went off handle and was absolute trash. And it's not surprising because it was made by a different team than, than the team that made Gears of War 1 through 3. So, but good news here is if anyone hasn't played the, the Gears of War 4 beta yet, and, but you love Gears of War 1 through 3, and you thought Gears of War Judgment was a big flop, like I think most people did, you just just realize here that Gears of War 4 is going back to the original 3, the trilogy, the original trilogy's feel. So if you were worried that Gears of War 4 is going to just be Judgment 2, it's going to be a big flop, it's going to suck, just like how Judgment was, do not worry. Gears of War 4, from the gameplay-wise, it feels exactly, to me it feels just like Gears of War 3, Gears of War 1 even. More so to directed towards Gears of War 3, I'd say. But um, they all have a similar feel in the multiplayer. So yeah, so so far, I, I'm loving Gears of War 4's beta. I love the beta. I, I'm loving Gears of War 4. I'm excited for it. I think the gameplay feels just like the old school gameplay. There's a couple of new things here and there. Like like there, we were actually trying to grab each other from cover. But it didn't work, I think, because the cover's just too big. So it didn't actually work out. I'm surprised the animation even comes out, but... I mean, that's kind of neat. It adds another element to the game. But as far as um, new additions, from the, at least from the beta, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of new things to the gameplay, which is totally fine. It's just tried and true Gears of War, right? 
And also, there's only two game modes, like I said, multiplayer modes. There's Team Deathmatch, which works perfectly fine, exactly how you expect it from Gears of War 3. And then Dodgeball, which is actually a completely different game mode, and is a lot of fun. So basically, it's 5 on 5. When someone dies, when you let's say you die, you can't respawn unless one of your teammates kills an enemy teammate. So it's almost like... It's almost like King's Court Dodgeball. If you've ever played that back in like elementary school, back in the good old days, it's kind of like that in a way, but Gears of War style. And I, it's a lot of fun. I didn't get a chance to play it as much because I kind of like went right into Team Death Match, and I only played a few matches of Dodgeball when I just to make this review and just to kind of give myself an idea of what it's even about. But I'll be honest, I think Dodgeball was more fun than just regular Team Death Match. So it's definitely a game mode that's gonna become a staple in the series for sure. Now, as far as weapons go, there's only one new weapon, I believe, that I tried, which I think was a drop shot. It's in the, It was in this gameplay. It's basically like a grenade launcher, but uh, I don't... I don't know. I don't get it. I, I just don't... I don't get the... I, it just drops... It drops and you shoot it. It's like... A, it shoots out like a grenade, and it, the grenade, like, drops in the ground. Like, it's a good weapon. It's really good. It's not as good as the boom shot, but it's close. So, it's a very good power weapon. But it's, it's essentially, to me, just like a, a grenade launcher. That's what I see it as. But it's, it's great for taking care of people behind cover. But it, in all honesty, it's just... I'll be real. From what I've seen, it's just a weaker boom shot. But you get one extra shot. You get three shots as opposed to two. Like the boom shot, you only get two shots, right? So, I mean, it's it's interesting. Let's hope there's a, there's a few other new weapons. I definitely would love to see more new weapons. But look like that was, that was the only new weapon I saw. If you... Uh, there was one I missed, and you leave in the comment section, but I'm pretty sure that was the only new weapon I've seen. Uh, there was a Torque Bow that's returning, which I love, but still think it's one of the coolest um, shooter weapons I've ever seen. And then there is the Long Shot Sniper, which is excellent, which I just can't seem to like remember how to use properly. I gotta say, Gears of War Sniping is definitely a lot harder than like Call of Duty, that's for sure. Uh, there was also the Lancer, which is just as good as it was in Gears of War 3. So it's not like a Gears of War 1 Lancer, it's not like shooting pebbles, it's definitely shooting some good old fashioned bullets. It definitely has a good feel to it. Chainsaw is still good, I mean it's not going to get any any player that's actually well aware of the situ situation they're in. You're probably not going to be able to chainsaw anyone, anyone like that. But like it's it's still the noob killer in my opinion, the chainsaw. Now here is a new weapon right here, I just pick it up right now. Yes, I believe it's called the drop shot. Anyways, it is a good weapon, you'll see. I always, I do get kills with it constantly, so it is definitely a good weapon. And this here is like, is actually my dodgeball gameplay, one of the gameplays I got. So yeah. And then also we have the Nasher Shotgun, which is a staple multiplayer weapon. It's the, it's like the bread and butter of Gears of Wars multiplayer. And it's still as good and satisfying as ever. So, the cover system works amazing. Everything just feels, it feels very Gears of War 3. So, so, I'm, so far, I'm loving the beta. Now, I will say there are some, some negatives. One, there was there was quite a bit of lag uh, playing playing in the beta so far. But it is a beta, so you got to understand that, you know, they're still in beta. So, they're still working on the netcode and all that. So, that's understandable. And another thing is, I'm hoping, I'm sure, again, it's just a beta. So, I'm sure this is going to be fixed and changed and boosted up. But the graphics, to me, are not impressive, which is very sad to say because gears of war whenever a new gears of war came out the graphics were incredibly impressive like for the time gears of war 1 came out amazing graphics blew my mind gears of war 2's graphics blew my mind gears of war 3's graphics blew my mind gears of war's judgments graphics didn't really um improve upon gears of war 3's graphics all that much so but i mean it was pretty much gears of war 3 was like as good as the xbox 360 could get for the most part so i couldn't I can't blame Judgment on that. So, but this game's graphics to me might... I don't even know if I'd say it's any better than Gears of War 3, which is not not right, man, because this is next gen. So hopefully the graphics will be boosted up in the full game by quite a bit. And I'm hoping the lag uh, will be fixed. Uh, now, I heard there's dedicated servers in the full game, so I have a feeling that both those will be fixed. But those are my only gripes with the game so far. Otherwise, I think it's phenomenal. I I'm can't wait for it to come out. It definitely has that nostalgic Gears of War feel to it. And I think this game is going to be pretty big because there isn't a, um, anything like it really in the next gen um, systems right now. You know, I mean, you don't have a lot of third person shooter competition. Now, PlayStation 4 has uh, Uncharted coming out, which looks amazing as well. But they're pretty different, to be honest. As they're third person shooters, but they're quite different. But, anyways, I'm definitely going to give this uh, game, I'm probably going to give it a 9 out of 10 right now. It has a couple flaws that I think will be fixed up. Fixed up in the full game, but the beta, the Gears of War 4 beta, I will say, is a 9 out of 10. Amazing. If you like Gears of War, you're going to love it. Definitely give uh, Gears of War 4 a try. 
I'm in I'm in love with it and I cannot wait till Gears of War 4 gets released. Anyways, everyone, I hope you had a you have a great day and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to like, share, and subscribe for more content. And I will definitely be posting some Gears of War content once uh, Gears of War 4 does get released later this fall. Anyways, everyone, take care and peace out. Yeah.